Gretchen Presley with the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region here with us on our Wednesday Pet of the Week time. You had Miss Molly ready to go, but Miss Molly got adopted. She did, so I had to quickly choose another furry <laughs> friend here. So Leo decided he didn't really want to come with me, but he would come with me yes. today. <laughs> All right, well, tell us about Leo. Leo is a little kind of tigery cat, right? We Brown call tiger? this a goody. It's oh, the, the pattern. Goody. Yes. So rabbits and cats can be a goodies, but you know, brown tiger for simplicity. Um, he is a seven year old brown tiger. Uh, he is neutered and um, he is a little shy right now. I think the bright lights and noises of the studio are freaking him out just a little bit. Okay. But um, <laughs> at the shelter, he's so confident, so friendly. And even with me, like he's not extremely happy to be here but yeah. he's being really nice he's been really sweet to me he's purring in my ear he's cuddling with me he's just please please take me home he's sir. a good looking kid <laughs> Leo is for sure now what is, is Leo's uh, adoption fee his adoption fee is $25 because he is one of our seniors right. and that includes the voucher for a veterinarian exam vaccinations 30 days of pet health insurance and a microchip and he is already neutered already neutered exactly and he actually also had a dental at the shelter ah which leads us to our next topic <laughs> February uh, last couple days of February National Pet Dental Health Month, right? That's right. So when Leo came in, he um, did have quite a bit of tartar buildup on his teeth and one tooth mm. that was kind of infected. I do so, too. I know, I know. So um, <laughs> <laughs> we did have to go in and we gave him a dental. And so now his teeth are nice and clean and that infected tooth is not bothering him anymore. So um, it's a great time to talk about uh, your pet's dental right. health. <laughs> and we have some info on our screen. I mean, it's very important to do this, to brush your pet's teeth regularly, cat or dog, mm -hmm, right? That's right. Or ferret. Um, Give dental treats to help. That's a good thing to do. The ones that are dental, like dental chews or whatever. Exactly. Is that what you guys recommend? Yes. Um, that can uh, help the plaque build up. It can help dissolve that and scrape it off their teeth for them. So you don't have to brush their teeth. They right. won't need dentals quite as much. But, you know, it's so important because if that tartar build up, it builds up enough, it can actually enter their bloodstream and yes. cause infection. So it really is so important. So very important to have dental health checkups. We're getting one with Fernica, I believe, next month. We're getting the cleaning. But uh, I try to brush your teeth at least once a week. Mm -hmm. And very good to do that because that can really help your pets pr pr prolong their lives. Exactly. Yeah. All exactly. right, so the website is hsppr.org. That's where you can get more information, not only on Dental Health Month, but where you can find out more about Leo and all the great animals there up for adoption. We are getting close to furball, too, coming up the end of April. Indiana Bones? Yes, we are so excited about that theme. It is going to be too much fun. <laughs> Can't wait for that, too. More info on that coming up. But thanks again, Gretchen, for being here. We'll get you adopted, Leo, okay?